<sighs> all right what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video this is web dev journey and today we're going to be talking about a new series yes it's a new series guys even though i said i wasn't going to be doing a series until like you know mid january or beginning of february the thing is it's going to be like a six video series it's not going to be that long plus it's something that you guys actually wanted um and i do believe i could give you good quality well i am going to give you good quality content of this series like i said it's pretty simple enough where i could do that stuff now what exactly is this series well like i said it's something that you some of you guys well I'll, actually a lot of you guys wanted me to cover which is cloud native applications using docker and kubernetes yeah so we're going to be trying well we're going to be hosting a a application using docker and kubernetes now this project could be whatever project that you want for me i'm going to be using the server boilerplate which i did like two videos ago it's just a server boilerplate but if you want to do an actual project go ahead and try to do it with that project follow along and just do the things that i'm gonna do in this video with that project so yeah, like I said, I am going to be using this project, the server boilerplate, which I will have a GitHub link down in the description. Also, the Docker, since we're going to be using Docker and Kubernetes, I already created a series, well, a mini series on Docker. I will have that link down below as well. I did want to talk about Kubernetes. I have never talked about Kubernetes in this channel, but this video is going to be such a smooth video. It's going to be easy to follow. You will understand what Kubernetes does or where what part does it play in in this whole thing you will understand at least that now if you want to get more into kubernetes like i said i have not created a series on that but i did find uh this channel on youtube <laughs> which is that devops guy now this guy is actually really really good at explaining devops kind of things and he does like his kubernetes look at this most of his videos is just kubernetes well kubernetes related like trying to do Kubernetes with Azure or building stuff with Kubernetes, you know, all that stuff is really, really cool. I like it. I've watched a few of his videos. He knows, he knows what he's talking about. I could, yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Like I said, he's a DevOps guy, so he's going to be well more qualified to talk about DevOps related things more than I am anyways. So yeah, just give this, this guy a shot. Just look him up or I'll have his channel linked down below. Look him up. He's a very good guy. He's I, I don't know him personally, nor have we talked. His eyes are like penetrating me right now. He's penetrating my soul. He's looking in me into me. <laughs> but anyways, I'm I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. But anyways, give this guy a shot. He's actually really good. If you're if you're more interested in like DevOps kind of things, dude, look this guy up. He's really, really cool. And look, he even talks about Prometheus, which is we're going something we're going to be talking about. Look at that. Prometheus, Prometheus monitor. You can actually look at this. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Anyways, like I said, he knows exactly what he's talking about. Give this guy a shot. Okay. His channel is going to be linked down below. Now, now that we have that, uh, aside on like the project, the Docker series and the Kubernetes, let's talk about exactly what we're doing in this series. Now, we're going to be doing we're going to be using this cloud native js basically create cloud native node.js applications this is a a project this is an actual project that's been happening for a while now a good while now years but basically they're trying to help you create cloud native application using node.js now they do have like what exactly they're going to be doing. And this is what we're going to be doing. We're literally going to be following this because this gives you, like I said in the beginning, a good foundation on the cloud native world. It really does. It gives you a GitHub link to like, uh, to show, it shows you exactly how to, okay, you want to add Docker to your file. This is how you add Docker. We're going to be doing exactly all these things. But like I said, look at all this stuff is, it might be confusing for you guys. That's why I want to build this this project well we, i want to be doing this with you guys so that way you know exactly what's going on or you won't be confused so why did i say six videos in the beginning or around six videos because each topic is going to be a video so we're going to be adding docker to our application we're going to be deploying our container using kubernetes and within kubernetes we're going to be adding health checks which is another video we're going to be tracking your request another video and we're going to be uh, monitoring our we're going to be able to monitor our application using prometheus which is another video now 
uh, that's five videos. I just said six, just in case one goes over, you know, or, you know, whatever. But yeah, this is exactly what we're going to be doing. Having a Docker, we're going to be deploying that Docker with Kubernetes. And then within Kubernetes, we're adding health checks, tracking your requests, and uh, we're going to be able to monitor our application, which is pretty cool stuff if I do say so myself, you know, I'm doing this series though. <laughs> Anyways, I will have this linked down below in the description as well. So that way you can get more like familiarized on like what exactly is health checking? What is, what is track your request, power your metrics? What is, what is all this stuff, right? Although I will be talking about this in the videos when the time comes, right? When the time comes, I will be talking about each one of these individually. But if you want to get ahead and just read the docs or uh, figure out what exactly we're doing, then this is exactly the place you should go since we're going to be using this anyways. So that's it for this video guys. I just wanted you to know, I wanted, I wanted to let you guys know what exactly we're going to be doing in this series. And as you can see, it's going to be a lot of new things is basically everything's new. Everything is new except for this doctor. Uh, that shouldn't be new, but everything is new. So yeah, guys, I, I just want to say thank you for watching my videos. It does help me a lot. I appreciate it a lot. Like I said, it does help me out. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Also, if you like this, if you're if you're interested in this series, hit that like button, comment down below on what you thought about the, the intro. Like, what do you think about this series that we're going to be doing? And also, if you haven't, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel. And selfless plug, help me out support me on patreon if you if you wish to do so um but thank you guys honestly thank you i will see you in the next video which we're going to be doing the docker we're going to get we're going to be getting this out of the way since we already know how to do this so we're going to be adding a docker file to our pre-existing application all right so i will see you in the next video bye